you notice that it keeps moving right now. So if there were a P wave coming in, and a few seconds later an S wave came in, it would still be moving from the P wave when the S wave came, which isn't what we want for seismology. We want to be able to see the individual rivals. So if I slide these, the magnet block over here and then move it, you can see that it doesn't keep moving anymore. It stops almost right away. The question is, what's the best position for this magnet block? Notice it's oriented like this, not like this. So it's in the sort of the oblong up and down position. A good thing to do is to, I've got a piece of a sticky paper that I'm going to set paste permanently to the base. Now when I do get the magnet block adjusted right, I'm going to make some marks on the paper so that I'll be able to put it back in the right place without going through the adjustment over again. The best down some clay, play-doh or something like that. Set up my ruler. Okay, I see 64, I'll go up to 74. I want to adjust the location of this magnet block so that if I lift this up from 61 to 71, so I'm lifting it by 10 centimeters, or 10 millimeters, and release it, I want it to go down to 60 and a half. In other words, I want it to go halfway, half a millimeter below where it started and then go up to 61 again. Now what it really did do was go very slowly down with no overshoot at all. So I have too much damping. I'm going to pull it back a ways. Try that again. Less damping. 74. It's about, about right. Just a slight overshoot. It's about half a millimeter overshoot. So I think this is a good position. I'm going to mark the position of the magnet block so I could reset it there again if it gets moved. 